Let's talk about the ridiculous and stupid and dumb pre or finals round of comparisons they did with these guys. They just brought out, first off, they brought out Tonio and Goodvito just by themselves. Didn't call out Raphael. Then they called out Goodvito to stand next to Raphael. Right? And then they did Tonio versus Raphael in the final callouts. And that was it. It was like 10 minutes of, of posing. Like we wait so long to watch these guys come on the stage. We go through all the, the women's wellness divisions, the bikini, everything. And then we get 10 minutes of this. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord, and I'm going to do the recap of the 2024 Arnold Classic Brazil Top 3, and I'm going to get into it in a little bit here because I'm pissed off. That was some bullshit. That was uncalled for with how they did the uh, the judging in the finals round, but let's take a look at Good Vito. Now, I was in really impressed with Good Vito. He brought his A game for his pro debut, which is what you should do. So he pulled that off. Now he has time to refine his physique, improve his posing, make sure he has enough oil on and come back and do another pro show because he did really good for his pro debut. Tonio Burton, again, we're going to get into it in a little bit here, looked phenomenal. Okay. In my opinion, Tonio should have won this show. He was a bit flat and he didn't have enough oil on for prejudging. And those little things do add up. And so you got to make sure you're on the money for prejudging and for finals. So I messaged Tony. I said, Tony, Tonio, put some more oil on, bro. Just put some more oil on. You will look night and day different. And he did it. He came back for the finals and he looked much improved, way improved than he did for prejudging. He looked fuller. He was as tight, if not sharper, because he filled out. And in my opinion, did enough to win the, the damn show. Raphael Brandeo, you know, he looked good in prejudging, but he's just soft from the back. It was like a film of water, maybe some more, obviously some more body fat needs to come off him. I was not impressed because this is his home turf. You can see the hamstrings and glutes here. They're just not, it's not quite there. He needs like another two weeks or so, but he had all this time since the Arnold Classic Ohio. And this is her home turf. There's no long plane rides, nothing, no, uh, you know, acclimatization to where you're at. You're there. You should have been peeled to the bone and you weren't in front of your hometown crowd. And this is what you displayed. I think he looked better in Ohio than he did here. So I'm like, what is going on with this guy? So let's talk about the ridiculous and stupid and dumb pre or finals round of comparisons they did with these guys. They just brought out, first off, they brought out Tonio and Goodvito just by themselves. Didn't call out Raphael. Then they called out Good Vito to stand next to Raphael. Right? And then they did Tonio versus Raphael in the final callouts. And that was it. It was like 10 minutes of, of posing. Like we wait so long to watch these guys come on the stage. We go through all the, the women's wellness divisions, the bikini, everything. And then we get 10 minutes of this. And that was it. And in these comparison shots, you can see Tonio has more oil on. He looks more polished. He looks fuller. He's more conditioned. He should have won this show. I know it was close. Raphael has a little bit more size on Tonio, but look at the Christmas tree. The, like, it's ridiculous. Tonio's beating him in every back shot. I think Tonio took him in the front lat, in the front double. The side tricep and the side chest is a toss-up. The ab and thigh goes to Tonio. He has better ab development. And the most muscular, again, that's a toss-up in my opinion. So I'm just, the way they did the, like where Steve 
Weinberger there? Was Tyler Mannion there? Like, who was judging this show? Because whoever decided to run the finals the way they did should not be a judge anymore. I'm that, That's how pissed off I am. That's how ridiculous the finals was run. They gave the, the men's open division literally 10 minutes of posing, and that was it. And then prior to that, they had the women's wellness division on, and there was like 45 minutes of posing and routines and walking around and back in front of the stage and side and circled and this and that. it was ridiculous. I don't mind the women's wellness division, but let's keep it even. This is bodybuilding. This is what started it, the whole thing. And then we get 10 minutes of, of finals posing and that's it. And then rush them off stage. So it's just ridiculous to for that to happen at a pro show and in the Arnold Classic. And I just had to, to vent that because I did the live stream and the guys in the live stream were like, what the fuck is this? This is bullshit. This is what is it, 10 minutes? It's over? And this weird finals one-on-one -on -one posing round they did, they didn't call them all out. It was this dumb. You don't do that. Just give them the first top four final call out so we can see them standing side by side. Don't do these individual side by side thing. That's bullshit. That's not how it's done. Do it the old school way, the right way, the way we're familiar with and we understand what's going on as a, as a viewer. Okay. But when they do this dumb one on one Raphael versus Tonio and then Raphael versus Good Vito and then Good Vito versus Tonio, like, what are you doing? We're not, we don't, we don't follow that. We don't understand what you're doing. It doesn't make sense. So at the end of the day, good job, Rafael Brandel. You won, you're in your home, you know, your home, uh, hometown there in Brazil, Sao Paulo. Good work. He, he has a great physique guys. He needs to work on that conditioning. Leave a comment below. Did Rafael deserve to win this show or should have Tony O'Burton should have won this show or maybe you, maybe you somebody had good veto. Let me know in the comments below. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.